Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to manipulate arrays with shift. Uh, pop always removes the last element of array. What if you want to remove the first? So if you've got an array with one, two, three, pop will remove number three. What happens if you want to array remove number one? So we use shift for that, uh, the function. That's like dealing under the deck. If you were to deal from the top of the deck, you pop off the top of the deck. If you were to deal from the bottom of the deck and cheat, you would use shift. Um, obviously with data structure, it's not cheating. Uh, use dot shift function to remove the first item of my array, assigning the shifted off item, which means the one that you removed, to uh, removed from my array. So this is exactly the same as the last one, but this time we're moving it from the front. So if we were to, what we want is for my array to be equal to dog three, right? So if we look right now, if we call, okay, so, <clears throat> Currently, my array is set to an array with two arrays inside of it. The first one is John 23, and the second one is dog 3. What we want now is after we uh, shift from this array, we want my array to be equal to dog 3. So if we console log my array here, we'll see this is the same array as here. This is what we start with. And so ideally, if we console log my array afterwards, we'll only have dog three. And so how would we do this? What we do is we say dot shift. Okay, what we do is we say remove from my array is equal to my array dot shift. And now we see that initial and then post shift. So here we have, this is the initial array, my array. We're, for, we're running down here. This is just an example. Here we're doing the setup is my array and then it's equal to this one plus this one. And so we're initially console logging that out and then a remove from my array is equal to my array dot shift and then my array dot shift actually messes with my array and it takes away this element and so when we come down here we'll see that john 23 is gone and now if we console dot log the removed from my array uh, we see that John 23 has been set to that. So when we said remove from my array is equal my array dot shift, what's happened here is we've stored the removed from variable into remove from my array, and then my array has actually re has lost this value and it's gone to dog dog three. And so dog three is made the shift variable, and John has become the removed from my array. So let's run the test. See how it worked. Great, it worked. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, obviously, all these console logs are actually unimportant. All you need to pass the tests is this, but I'm just putting the console logs in there for you to get an idea for how to get started with uh, bug testing, because you'll be able to do that in the future with whatever you're working on. And uh, it kind of gives you an idea for what happens uh, behind the scenes rather than just saying, I, I mean, this is a simple thing to just type out, but if you kind of get an understanding of it, I think that's more helpful. So I hope you guys enjoy this and we'll see you in the next lesson.